welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Kickstart that engine and roll thunder with the pack. Explore the grittiness of manly spirituality. Gain traction in the virtues. Zoop up your spiritual engine by turning adversity into adventure. Now here's Bear Wozniak. Let's ride. Aloha, welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. I'm your adventure guide, Bear Wozniak, and our co-adventure guide today is Father Don Calloway. Uh, I got to break some sad news to Father Don. Uh, first of all, for those of you guys who are who are watching us, it'll be cool because Father Don's going to show some of these great paintings of St. Joseph that he have commissioned. But Father, if you could look out my window right now, the 25th floor, if you look straight down, you'd see St. Augustine's Catholic Church. The altar's directly below me, basically. You would see a... Uh, a window cleaner hanging from my window. Uh, and beyond that, you would see about 16 to 20 foot faces of perfect surf <laughs> rolling oh. in from Diamond Head, uh, wow. breaking all the way through to, to right in front of my house. Father Don, as you guys know, is the surfing priest. So I just thought, I'd, how does that make you feel? Does it make you feel? You're, you're on where you are, there's lots of, you're, you're on a beach someplace, right? Well, I wish I was at the moment. I'm in Arizona right well, now. Well, but I mean, Arizona, all it is is beach, right? It's all sand, just no ocean. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, no, no, no liquid, no water. But uh, wow, you, I was stoked until you said, now I'm jealous, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I had a buddy who used to do the uh, window washing here in this building. And one day I said, I want to repel out the window with you, you know. Uh, and I've, I've repelled, but I've never repelled out a window just off mountains. And he yeah. said, well, you know, the Caribbean, this guy's right next to me. I can reach out and touch him if I open the window, the window washer right now. So if you hear a banging noise. But uh but he said, you know, the carabiner you use to industrial is different, so be real careful. It doesn't get caught in your hair. So I jump out the window, and, we're, and we, we, we rappel down about 25 floors. And I get about a foot and a half from the bottom where I would be stepping on the cement. Uh, and my hair got caught in the carabiner. And it's like I was hanging there by my hair. I felt like Absalom, right, being hung up in the tree, David's son. And I'm hanging onto this rope, trying not to let it pull my scalp off. Well, he ran around and found a pliers or something to cut my hair and get my hair out of there. But it was a pretty, pretty, tra and I had a sore head for about I would think a so, month. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, welcome to the show. And we're so excited about having you here again as a returning guest. You know, we don't often have returning guests, but we have Father Don Calloway on, on as often as we can. We got to go to Israel together. That was a great experience. Yeah, it was. And you got to surf over there. That was awesome. Oh, I forgot about that. And yeah. now you're jealous again. <laughs> you know, you're right. We we showed up there. It was so funny because we showed up there. My wife and I a day early, on Christmas Day. I think the day the day of Christmas or the day after Christmas. And with the day we arrived, it was victory at sea, really on un, unrideable. But the next day, we looked out and these, there's these perfect maybe five foot faces, not not big waves, but just perfect waves. And we ran across the street from where is that we stay? The Don Panorama hotel yeah, right. in tel aviv yeah. Yeah. yeah so we ran across the street in tel aviv and those surf shops are not there anymore by the way they've torn them down but we went across and say can we borrow the biggest board you have and he goes well i showed a picture of us tandem surfing and he goes oh yeah you can use my stand-up board so we went out we paddled out there's about 20 people in the lineup and they're all looking at us like who are these people two people on a surfboard you know and then we uh someone paddled over and said so do you guys ever surf before and i go no this is our first time and right then, this perfect wave came. We dropped in. I did an overhead lift. Cindy went in this beautiful lift. And then they were like instant family. Then as I'm walking up the beach, another guy from another surf shop, the other surf shop there, uh, I forget his name now, uh, comes down to the beach with his arms folded across his chest. You bear Wozniak? I go, yeah. He goes, I know who you are. And I go, and you know why? Because I go, you know uh, Doc Pasquitz? You know the Doc Pasquitz family? And he goes, yeah, he taught my dad how to surf. And this guy's my age. So wow. he's been, Doc Paskowitz taught his dad when his dad was young, and, and this guy. So we were like instant ohana there, but it was really cool. But, you know, we had a great time with you and, and learned so much being with you and especially with your mom. Yeah. You've seen you two together. Oh, she's great. I love it. She goes with me on a lot of those pilgrimages, and uh, she's awesome to hang out with. She's just, she's funny. She's just, she's great. Uh, Lots she's of energy. Awesome. Oh man, she leaves me in the dust, brother. She, you know, I'm tired. I'm like, mom, I gotta go to bed. She's like, what? I want to go out. I'm like, go for it. Yeah. Well, you know, and she was also your your relationship with your mom was just so illustrative of our relationship of our own with our with our lady. You know, the mm. way yeah. she, she was watching out for you, you were watching out for her. It was just really cool to see. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get to work. 
there's something yeah. so cool that you've done that I've had men almost every conversation with men the con the con the the conversation will come up um, have you read Father Don Calloway's book on consecration to Jesus through through Joseph what inspired that book well you know about uh, four years ago now you know I was just really aware of the crisis in the world with marriage you know in a crisis with uh, families you know just in a crisis and men today you know a lot of them, the world's trying to emasculate men and tell them, hey, you're too toxic, tone it down, you know. And um, men are confused today. They don't know what it means to be a man. So I thought in these confused times, what better person to turn to than the head of the Holy Family, you know, the husband of the Virgin Mary, the foster father of Jesus, the terror of demons, you know, um, St. Joseph. I thought it's perfect to bring him into all this right now. And it is. And um, so it took me three years, brother, to do the research, the writing, and everything to put together consecration to Saint Joseph. Well, it's I mean, beautiful. This is the most, oh, it's the most. You, you go back and you go back and you quote a lot of the uh, the saints well, and the writings. You go you go through history to draw out because Saint Joseph, there's there's a, there's so little spoken about him, and yet he did yeah. some. You did a lot of research, yeah. Oh, I did, and like the book, if you if you can see it, I, for those who are viewing, I mean, it's a thick book. It's not just a little pamphlet. You know, it's it's right. a pretty thick book. And so, um, yeah, it, I, I gathered stuff from convents, monasteries, all around the world to put it in the book. Yeah. And one of the other coolest things you did, and people, if you guys, you know, this will be the biggest jump in our YouTube channel probably ever, because we're going to be talking about how you can go to the Bear Wozniak YouTube channel, and you can see some of these paintings that you specifically had commissioned. Yes. Uh, the manliness of St. Joseph. You know, I used to talk about masculine spirituality. I don't do that anymore. I talk about manly spirituality and it, it, sh maybe you could start off just a little bit uh, describing yeah. show a couple of the paintings and describe i, I love that yeah. one with the act he's in oh. he's holding an axe and oh you know. yes so i'm gonna try and hold these up right because i know we got a split screen right now but i commissioned these artworks because you know a lot of times when you see saint joseph in art he's old you know he's i mean yeah. really old right so i thought what's up with that you know we need him younger more masculine and so um i i commissioned these artworks and you can buy these Oh, so, really? I yeah, need man. that for my home. Oh, brother, we uh, we set up a website. If you go to the website, you can get them for $19. What's They're the incredible. website? The website is consecration to consecrationtosaintjoseph.org. And the saint is just uh, S-T. You don't spell that word out. Oh, oh okay, so, okay. Okay, yeah, consecration to saintjoseph.org. Exactly. Go to that website. You can get all these. So check this one out. This is called The Terror of Demons. I hope everybody can see that well. It's tough. Yeah. He, he's, he's got... St. Joseph, I dig that because he's got his hand, he's holding the baby Jesus, or yeah, the infant, yeah. the child Jesus. That's right. And he's holding his hand like, kind of like, you've come, to, you've, you don't push your luck, don't that's come any right, further. That's right, exactly. Right? What and is the feeling dad. of that painting? What do you see in that painting? Yeah, and that's a dad, right? That A dad is like, hey, knock it off here, you know? Um, yeah. I love it because the child Jesus is stabbing the serpent with St. Joseph's lily staff. I mean, isn't that so cool, right? Yeah, and I think the Lily Staff is so indicative too of the depth of Saint Joseph's spirituality because, you know, yeah. you got the the, the the scripture verse. My beloved is like the lily of the valley with with roots like the cedars of Lebanon. You know yes. that deep, deep, deep uh, yes. love for oh. God, and and, he, and he's stabbing, the, he's killing the killing the serpent with that. Oh, I like that you quoted that that scripture passage because in the the next two I'm going to show you, I actually so, show Saint Joseph with an axe. Because, you know, he was a carpenter. He was a tecton. So he worked with wood, with stone. Yeah. So I show him in this one. This call, this is called the Immaculata in the Terror of Demons. Mary is stepping on the serpent. St. Joseph has cut off the serpent's tail with his axe. This, that, we, need, we need to use that in our Long Ride Home uh, show. Isn't that because, awesome? Because we're using, uh, you know, we rode the tail of the dragon in the season that we're editing right now. And oh. we're just talking, we're just, we're just doing the edit of that. Version, that portion of it. We need to use. Can we use that image? Can we show it in our in our Long Ride Home TV show? Yeah, send me an email and we'll work on it all out because it's copyrighted. Of right, course. right, right, right. We'll, we'll work it out. We'll send yeah. me an email. But that's yeah, so yeah. powerful. Oh, and check this one out. So you, you probably can't see the full size one behind me, but yeah. I'm going to show you what it looks like. This is Saint Joseph, Terror of Demons, again holding an axe, and he's yeah. stepping on that serpent like he just yeah, like a dragon, him. yeah, like a dragon. Isn't that yeah. awesome? I, yeah. I want to use those pictures. You got to give me. I know you got to go through all the copyright stuff, but my gosh, yeah, yeah. and he looks so manly, and he looks very. He looks very Jewish in this. He's using the the uh, I don't know what the the scarf is. Yeah. Yeah, 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 the prayer shawl right there. Right. 
Yeah, yes. exactly. That's what I wanted. I wanted younger depictions of him where he's depicted as strong, you know, masculine instead of like half dead. Some of the images of him, you know, it's like, yeah. wow, this guy's, you know, he looks like he's 95 years old. You know? Yeah. We're talking with Father Don Calloway. We're talking about the consecration to, to, uh, to Jesus through St. Joseph. It's What's the website again, Father? So the website is consecration to St. Joseph dot org. And you don't oh. spell out thing. It's just S T. So consecration to St. Joseph dot org. And like just like the title of the book. Consecration okay. to St. Joseph. And you yeah, have yeah. to have the book. You know what I would do? I was going and buy it on Amazon and then start reading it before you probably finish it before it gets to your house. But you uh, I, that's how I've been reading it because I left my copy of the book in Hawaii. This is the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Our adventure, our, our co-host today is Father Don Calloway, the surfing priest. I purposely invited him to be on the show today because the surf outside's about Oh, I would say, let me check again. Oh. Yeah, you know it's big when Castles is breaking and it broke last night, and then Kunas is breaking right out in front here. It's hollow, perfect surf. And so when we're done, I'll go catch a few waves for you because I know you're stuck you're in Arizona. Me. You're killing me, Bear. Uh, that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> we'll be right back with more of the Bear Wozniak adventure. Hey, man. I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at deepadventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Get your free stuff. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that little bell. Don't miss out. That's right. Deep Adventure Ministries is grateful to Notre Dame Federal Credit Union for underwriting the Bear Wozniak Adventure on EWTN. Notre Dame Federal Credit Union provides car loans, mortgages, SBA loans, and depository accounts nationwide, as well as 24-hour support. Go to deepadventure.com to find their link or go to notredamefcu.com. Mahalo to Notre Dame Federal Credit Union for making the Bear Wozniak adventure possible. Mahalo for your kokua in supporting us. Deep Adventure Ministries is grateful to you, our listeners, for supporting the Bear Wozniak adventure radio show at deepadventure.com. We would not be able to bring you our radio show with its uniquely powerful and gritty outreach without your help. You can become part of our pack. You can support our ministry by going to patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak or by just going to deepadventure.com and clicking on the Patreon link and become a part of our outreach. That's deepadventure.com. Once again, mahalo for your kokua. This is a warning. The Bear Wozniak adventure is dangerous. The radical change Bear challenges you to is not for wimps. Change this station now to a soft rock station before it's too late. You've been warned. Now, here is Bear Wozniak. Aloha, welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. We're talking today about consecration to St. Joseph with Father Don Calloway. You know, we have something, uh, we need to have men become manly again, now more than ever. The way you, the way you become manly is you, you find men that you can imitate. And there's no better example than someone to imitate than the stepfather of Jesus. And we're going to be talking about uh, how, he models, uh, how he models for us what fatherhood is, and what it means to be a man. I, I think one of the greatest uh, titles he has, Father Don, is the title Terror of Demon. I think demons, I think every man should be a terror to demons. You know, there's a saying you hear about that when some that when, a, when a man of God gets up in the morning and his feet hit the ground, the demons say, oh no, he's up again. You know, that that should, if if you could see, men, what you look like when you're carrying the glory of God in your temple, uh, of your uh, of your body and of your of your soul, uh, you if you're living a life of virtue, um, demons run because yeah. you because Jesus is <laughs> that image you had of that painting, Father, where Joseph has his hand extending like this far and no further. Yeah. 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 So t tell us about that. T talk to talk story with us about the, the terror of demons part. 
Yeah, well, the, the amazing thing about St. Joseph, and it would be great if this were true for all men, too, is, you know, that, that passage you, you cited there that, you know, when a man wakes up and the devil says, oh, no, he's up again. Well, think about St. Joseph. With St. Joseph, the devil says, oh, no, he's sleeping again. Because it was during his sleep that he spoke to God. Yeah, that's right. right. Yeah. So, it, it, so whether we're awake, you know what I mean? So it's whether yeah. we're awake or asleep, we should be a terror of demons. Because if you live a pure life, a holy life, even your sleep should terrorize the devil. Because you're communing with God in your soul and you're resting and you're prepared for the battle the next day. So you're right. If more men imitated St. Joseph, we would have, you know, a holier society. We would have, you know, one of some of his titles are pillar of families. What if more men were pillars of families? A pillar is a foundation, right? So it's not going to collapse and fall if we have men who are protective, defenders, guardians of their wife and children instead of bailing out, which so many men have done. You know, so many, I think it's 52% right now of marriages that have children do not have a father because he's bailed out. That's more than half, brother. I mean, this is this is sad. So we need to run to this man, St. Joseph, and uh, seek to imitate him, for sure. The, 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 the pillar of, and you know, when you think about, too, when we, when we were in Israel together, he's technon, he's a, build, he's a builder. Yep. Okay, I think I'm saying that right. He was muscular, dude. Yeah. If you're going to be working with stone, mostly, I think he probably worked mostly with stone and then wood, too. Yep. But, you know, all the houses there, except for the prime minister's house, are made of stone. Hmm. You wouldn't want to mess with Joseph. <laughs> you know, he's, no. He's strong, but he knows how to build a firm foundation. He knows how to make. I don't know how people make uh, out of rough hewn stone those 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 uh, the walls of of the temple or the or the houses there. But he knew how to make things straight and true, yeah. and that w that would last. Yeah, that's the thing. And you know, I um, was talking to a priest one time in the Holy Land, and he told me he said that Father, during the days of the Holy Family, there was actually like a, a rock quarry that was close by Nazareth where they probably went where literally St. Joseph and Jesus probably went frequently to carry stone and to chisel it away to chip it. that is hard work brother if you've ever tried to do that you got to have muscles you got to have endurance you got to have stamina to do work like that and certainly that was uh, St. Joseph and, and and him training Jesus in that trade I mean these were workmen these were you know, these were tough, tough uh, men, uh, and, and and I think that's important. There's really something do. there's something to that because when I when when we were going to go to Israel together, you, and I said I'm writing a book on man caves, I'm still working on it. But you said, oh, there's going to be a lot of caves there. Mary's house, you know, yeah. uh, where the Annunciation was. It, this is it. Think of it like this: they carved into the cave, and then took that rock and built the walls out. Mm. And that's the way we need to be in our spiritual lives. We need to dig deep. Find that beautiful deposit of faith within the church, and then use that quarry of that the, that stone, the stone of uh, of the virtue God builds us builds in us, and build a solid house to protect and and care for our families. Oh, I love it. No, you're absolutely right. And you know, again, if you go back to that word virtue, right? Um, the root of that is vir, which means man in Latin. So we're all called to virtue. But men in a particular way, because they're called to be, you know, the, the, the ones who are protective and, 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 and caring for others, they're called to have those virtues particular to their specific, specific vocation. So, you know, they're called to be present and available, to be a great strength for their wife and children, and a pillar of the family. And another title of St. Joseph that I love, it's in his litany of St. Joseph, he's called the glory of domestic life. The glory, I mean, that is such an honor. How many men do you know that you could say, that man, I, he's the glory of domestic life? <laughs> probably, not that many today, sadly. The world is messed up. We need more men who we could say, he's a pillar of families and a, a glory of domestic life. But we're not seeing it too much today. You know, we I, can, I we need to recover this. I went, I was at the Nappy Institute and uh, uh, Archbishop Chaput, I guess, I think, I think he's Archbishop. <laughs> they asked him the question, so what, what do we need to do to evangelize the world? And he said, men devoted to their families, bringing them and having lots of children and bringing them up in the Lord. Yep. That's, really the, that's really what will change the world, it, yep. it is men with a domestic church. It's not, yep. yeah, that doesn't mean you're domesticated, <laughs> you know, right, right. but 
but the, the, a powerful man with a woman devoted to the Lord and raising those children up, that's how you change the world. You that don't is. do it through programs and, 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 and uh, education. Of course, that's all important, but you do it through a, a man with his yep. wife raising a family. That's right. And just like in the days of our Lord, it was the man who was the one who led the prayers, not the woman. Now, there's nothing wrong with the woman leading it, right? But seriously, studies have shown that if it's the husband and father who leads the prayers of the family and takes them to church, it has staying power, more so than when it's left to the mother to do it. Almost triple, man, almost triple, double or right. triple the impact. In fact, I've read, I've read the study where it, it says that, you know, the women are, are the spiritual leaders and bringing the family to the church without the husband. I think it's about 30% of those kids will stay. Yeah. If, if yeah. it's the husband going, it's like 80%. And if the wife goes too, then it's 85%. But I mean, it's basically if a man will take those children uh, and it. establish them in the faith, it's, it's a dramatic, you know, impact on, on their lives. Absolutely. And that's, that was St. Joseph's role. Like he led the prayers and the family prayers. He's the one who took the initiative. He's the one who had to take Jesus three times a year to the temple in Jerusalem. It was required of all Jewish men. It's in the book of Leviticus to go to Jerusalem three times a year. It was not Mary who took him. It was well, Joseph who well, took Jesus. We love Mary. We love Mary. You know, of course, you've written the book Consecration to Jesus through Mary. But um, after they, after things, I forget at what point it was, but you no longer see the angel coming to Mary. He, mm. she, the angel comes to Joseph to warn, to flee right. from Herod, to go to Egypt, then go back up to. It's he, yep. the angel comes. He's the he's the spiritual head of that household. That's right. He is and. He's the one who actually names the child. You know, the angel says, you are to name him Jesus. So oh. it, that, that's significant, brother. That's wow. huge. We have that holy name because God used St. Joseph to give it to us. And here's something else. I learned this just the other day. Almost all, not all, but very close to all children. What's the first thing that every baby says? Dada. Dada. You're right. Dada. You're not right. mama. Usually Baba. it's dada at first. Right. Right. Right? Wow. Because it's easier to pronounce. Dada is easier than mama. It takes children a little longer to say mama. But when, we're in, when we're in Israel, we hear Abba. That's right. Abba. That's exactly right. Yeah. So that's what Jesus most likely said first. And that's mm. not no credit to Our Lady. Our Lady is greater than St. Joseph. Right. We all right. know. That. Right. But that tenderness between Jesus and Joseph was from the very beginning. He named him. And then Jesus, probably the first words he said were Abba. To Joseph. Uh, wow. Wow. Yeah, the yeah. spiritual the spiritual head of the household. We're talking with Father Don Calloway. Tell us the exact title of the book again. Yeah, so it's Consecration to St. Joseph. And uh, the website is the same. It's consecration to St. Joseph.org, where you can get the book and the artwork and, and everything. And it's ST with a period or no period? Uh, no period. So it's just Saint consecration jo to St. Joseph, no period there, dot no. org. Consecration to Saint Joseph. dot org, and there you can find those those really cool paintings that you that you had commissioned. You know, I got the book before I left Hawaii, left for Hawaii, and uh, and then I have the Kindle version, but I didn't go back to see at the very end. There's all these great these really cool pictures. Uh, Father Don, um, the we'll be right back with more of uh, the Bear Watson Convention. I want to challenge the men, the women. Listen, women, you're listening to this show because actually we have more men, more women love this show. It's just, when we go places, it's the women that come up first. But I want to tell the women, go to deepadventure.com. Show your husband what's available to him there. We have uh, this group called Bear's Man Cave, and it's been really powerful lately, especially during this corona thing that's been going on. But it's a secret Facebook group. You can't join by going to Facebook. you got to go to deepadventure.com. But we get the men together, Father, and we have uh, in this man cave, we challenge each other. You know, we, we, we share our, 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 you know, it reminds me of the cave of Adullam with King, King David. You know, all the misfits and the people who owed money and the knuckle draggers of the world showed up and they were formed into a band of warriors. And we see men so isolate themselves, but when they come to the man cave, they find out we're all bozos on the same bus. We all got the same problems and we help and challenge and encourage each other. So women, go in there and buy a, buy a, uh, get a, um, a membership to the man cave for your husband or show them what, we, what we're up to. We'll be back with more of the Bear Wozniak adventure. Deep Adventure Ministries is grateful to Notre Dame Federal Credit Union for underwriting the Bear Wozniak adventure on EWTN. 
Notre Dame Federal Credit Union provides car loans, mortgages, SBA loans, and depository accounts nationwide, as well as 24-hour support. Go to deepadventure.com to find their link or go to NotreDameFCU.com. Mahalo to Notre Dame Federal Credit Union for making the Bear Wozniak adventure possible. Men, yes, we mean you. Go to deepadventure.com and check out Bear's Man Cave, a men's only Facebook group. Join the pack with other men as they challenge and inspire one another to manly virtue. Plus, you can dialogue with us in our regular video chat meetups. Plus, get your exclusive content. Join at deepadventure.com. That's deepadventure.com. Aloha. Welcome back to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. This is going to be one of the most watched uh, YouTube versions of our show that we've ever had. If you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, it's just Bear Wozniak. And uh, the playlist, we have lots of playlists there, by the way. We have so many cool things. We have a biker safety set of video playlists. We've got the Bear Wozniak Adventure there. We've got my Ocean Sunrise Catechisms that we do every morning there. But this will probably be one of the most watched shows we've ever had. We have Father Don Calloway with us. And uh, we're talking about his new book, The Consecration to St. Joseph. Uh, and everywhere I go, men are saying, have you read that book? Have you made your consecration? And I have to admit, I left my book in Florida when I went to Hawaii. I have the Kindle version. But I don't like, I like underlining books and, and messing with them and folding the pages and stuff. So I'm, I've yet to do my full consecration. But we have Father Don here with us. Father, St. Joseph's name, what does it mean? Oh, brother, when I, you know, I didn't know. I, 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 I was clueless about this until I did the research. So when I was researching this, I was reading quotes from like uh, St. Uh, Bernard of Clairvaux, St. Lawrence of Brindisi, and they kept saying that Joseph's name in the ancient languages means increase. And I thought to myself, man, that is so perfect, because that's what a father is called to do. He's called to increase good things in the life of his family. And, you know, that's what St. Joseph did. And I began to call St. Joseph, and I call him this to this day, the increaser. He is the increaser. Because, you, you know, you think about Our Lady. She magnifies the Lord. She's the magnifier, right, of the Lord. St. Joseph is the oh. increaser. Yeah, so we've got the magnifier and the increaser. It sounds like a new Avenger movie. It does, totally. <laughs> Minus the cape, you know. But, uh, <laughs> well, he's wearing a cape right there. It looks like in one of your paintings. Prayer shawl, yeah. Prayer shawl. <laughs> but what a great thing to call a father, the increaser. Yeah, because that's what he does. And so, for example, in the Gospels, um, it says very clearly that Jesus, in his human nature, he it says he increased in wisdom and stature yes. for yes. God and man under the watchful care of his parents. But he submitted to them. That's right. And grew That's in right. wisdom and, 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 and increased in wisdom and stature. Wow. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> if, if Joseph can do that for the God-man, certainly he can do it for us, right? So, yeah. Well, tell us, tell us then a little bit about this approach to the 33 days that you've outlined for us, similar yeah. to the consecration to Jesus through Mary. Tell us, tell us that yeah. process. So what I did, you know, I wanted I wanted it to be very similar to St. Louis de Montfort's 33 days, you know, to, to Our Lady. And so I thought, why reinvent the wheel? He did something brilliant there. So I unpacked the litany of St. Joseph every day during the consecration with all those wonderful titles. And then I go into what saints said about St. Joseph, what popes have said, what shrines are there around the world. And there's an increasing amount of conversation oh. about St. Joseph. Why is that, do you think? In the well, last hundred years, there's just been this... Oh. Brother, since 1870, that's when he was proclaimed the patron of the church, 1870. Since that time, it's been building, and I think it's crescendoing right now because we've literally got his name now in the Mass. It's almost embarrassing to think it wasn't in the Mass until I know. Yeah. I mean, it's unbelievable. We've got the uh, official litany of St. Joseph. We've got him, uh, you know, shrines around the world. we got the greatest shrine in Montreal, Canada, the Oratory of St. Joseph, the largest shrine to St. Joseph in the entire world is in Canada. I mean, it's incredible. So it's just, it just keeps going, brother. Well, you know, when I you think about the, the Marian apparitions and the increase of those, yeah. and now we see St. Joseph, and it, it, of course, what do I know, but 
it just seems to me that it's it's kind of shouting out to get ready. Maybe Jesus is coming soon. I don't know. But what we do know is Jesus wants to to uh, is coming every day in our lives and yeah. to increase. And if we're and if 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 our consecration to Mary and our consecration to to Saint Joseph is there, then what ha- what has to follow is the increasing of of the power and presence of Jesus in the world. Yes, and that ultimately is what it's all about, right? So with any form of Marian consecration or a consecration to St. Joseph, it's all about Jesus Christ, right? He's God. Uh, But Mary and Joseph bring us closer to him. And that's why I think right now the Holy Spirit is saying, pay attention to Joseph because we've got problems in the world with the family, with marriages, with gender ideology. People are confused. We need very clear examples of what it means to be a father, of what it means to be a man, of what it means to be a husband. And we couldn't see that clearer in St. Joseph. So I, in my mind, I mean, this is a major movement that we're doing here, this consecration. It's a major thing, Bear. Absolutely. And so what's the process? <clears throat> if someone, someone uh, first, bet, first thing, of course, is, is to get the book. And then what yeah. are the 33 days? And when did you recommend them start? And when do they, how does the consecration actually work? Give us an example yeah. of the prayer, that type of thing. Yeah, so um, you can start at any time and end any time, but on that website, that consecration to St. Joseph.org, I have a chart where you can get suggested dates. So it ends on some feast day significant with St. Joseph, and there's quite a few. So every day you spend about 20 minutes doing readings, two sets of readings, followed by praying the litany of St. Joseph. So you do that every day. So you're building up your spiritual muscles, right? Mm. And uh, you're unpacking the titles, the privileges, the virtues, the wonders, the dignity of St. Joseph. And by the end of that 33 days, you're like, I want to, I want St. Joseph as my spiritual father. I want to increase in virtue. I want to place myself under his care, just like Jesus did. And so that the feedback brother is off the charts. The book has only been out five months. We've sold over a hundred thousand copies so far. Those of you who are authors, you'll know that is major, 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 um, it must be ranked in the top 10 Catholic it's, books. It's, or been top... the, it's been in the top 10 on Amazon for five months. Yeah, that's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Praise. That, that's an indication of the power of God and what, what he's up to. And the hunger. How many women out there right now should go to Amazon and purchase that book? Or would it be better if they went to your website? You know, it, it, either way, really. I, I understand that a lot of people get Amazon Prime and they order other stuff. So whatever, it doesn't matter. I just want people to get the book. So you can get it on Amazon. You can get it on our website as well. Whatever. All you have to do is look look up Father Don Calloway, C A L L O W A Y, yeah, and it'll show all of his books. Yeah, and you know, right. you know, as inspiring, your books are easy read. They're very easy read and they're inspiring, but they're also pretty gnarly because. <laughs> you do a lot of hit. You do a lot of uh, research, like the, the, the history of the rosary is a is a powerful uh, yeah. historical document. Maybe maybe the most ever done on the rosary. I don't know. Yeah, but, I think well the best book on the rosary is Saint Louis de Montfort's. Right, he's a saint. But your but yours on the history more yours in the historical element. Yeah. Yeah, mine's called Champions of the Rosary, where I pick up where he left off and bring us up to date. And uh, yeah, that book is also done very very well and. It's all around the world now. In different well, languages. your mom thinks you're a saint. <laughs> well, I think she's a saint. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe she doesn't. No, no. No, she's so proud of you. So um, so they, they go through that process. And then what is the prayer like? Yes. Yeah, consecration? So there's all kinds of prayers that are actually in the book. Um, but what you're required to do every day is the opening prayer. There's a closing prayer. But then the litany of St. Joseph. Because, you know, that is a beautiful prayer. Um a lot of people are familiar with the Litany of Loretto, which is the prayer for with Our Lady, which is beautiful. Well, there's a parallel one that's very similar for St. Joseph. So when you do that every day, oh my gracious, I mean, it's it, it becomes so beautiful to your soul. You breathe those titles, and mm. um, some people are shocked by the titles. Like we were talking about, I can't tell you the amount of people that said to me, Father, I never knew that St. Joseph was called the Terror of Demons. I'm like, Heck yeah. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's like the money title for St. Yeah, I mean, Joseph. that would be the coolest title I think they have as a man is to be that. And we totally. all and we all should. And we right. can be. If, 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 now, it, but there, on, the, on the very last day, is there a special prayer or is it, uh, what, what yeah. happens then? On so the 33rd on the day. day. Yeah, so you, you do the actual consecration on the 33rd day. 
And, you know, there's a whole bunch of selections. There's options that you can choose from that I have in here. Some written by saints. I composed a few. And um, it's a longer formula, but it's really nice. And by the way, you can do the book by yourself or you can do it as a group. Uh, do it with questions. your family. Why not do it with your family? Perfect. Oh, perfect, brother. So there's questions where you, after each reading, you can do a group sharing. You can share your thoughts, insights, questions, whatever. It's really, really amazing to do. So, yeah. Well, I remember uh, your first book. I, I read it. And, uh, well, the, fir the first book I read by you was the, yeah. the Consecration to Mary. And I just remember uh, I was on a ship. I was spending, I spent uh, like 20 days at sea. I went on three, three oh. consecutive ships. I was sitting in the, I had the worst cabins. But oh. I just basically, I hid out on the balcony uh, smoking a cigar and writing my book, Deep Adventure, The Way of Heroic Virtue. But I isolated awesome. myself on that boat because you know, you know what, how hard it is to write. There's no yeah. internet there, you know, to speak of. But I remember I, we went into Puerto Rico, and I forget the name of the church there, but I went into that, to that Catholic church, and that's where I made my consecration. Awesome. To Mary. God. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. So that, that, the book means a lot to me. So I, I will begin. You know what I'll do is that's cool. I will do that consecration with my wife to St. Joseph. Yeah. And then oh, maybe sure. I'll go through, through that with, with her with Mary, too. Nice, nice. St. Joseph, the Terror of Demons. What's the website they should go to? Yeah, so it's consecration to St. Joseph.org. Very simple. It's a beautiful website, too. And the yeah. book, the, if, you ha if you're just tuning in, at the beginning of the show, you should go to our YouTube channel, Bear Wozniak, and you can look at how, how good-looking Father Don Calloway is. I mean, the paintings that he had commissioned are. Uh, he has really cool manly pictures of Saint, paintings of St. Joseph, which you can actually buy on that website. We want to invite you to go to our website, deepadventure.com, and subscribe to our newsletter, because when you do... You get a free audio version of the book, uh, Deep Adventure, The Way of Heroic Virtue. Father was talking earlier about how the word virtue in, in its root word in Latin is actually vir, which means man. And it's the one thing God spoke to me about to teach men is, is manly virtue, manly virtue, manly, manly virtue. And I, the book gives men traction uh, on how to grow in that virtue. So if you combine that book with this book on consecration to St. Joseph, be a powerful one-two punch, jab, punch, hook, uppercut. And that beautiful painting you have of St. Joseph extending his hand saying, like, don't even dare to come any further, the protector. We'll be right back with more of the Bear Wozniak Adventure and Father Don Calloway. Hey, man, I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at deepadventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Get your free stuff. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that little bell. Don't miss out. Mahalo for your kokua in supporting us. Deep Adventure Ministries is grateful to you, our listeners, for supporting the Bear Wozniak Adventure radio show at deepadventure.com. We would not be able to bring you our radio show with its uniquely powerful and gritty outreach without your help. You can become part of our pack. You can support our ministry by going to patreon.com forward slash Bear Wozniak or by just going to deepadventure.com and clicking on the Patreon link and become a part of our outreach. That's deepadventure.com. Once again, mahalo for your kokua. This is a warning. The Bear Wozniak Adventure is dangerous. The radical change Bear challenges you to is not for wimps. Change this station now to a soft rock station before it's too late. You've been warned. Now, here is Bear Wozniak. Aloha, welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. You do want to go to Bear Wozniak YouTube channel and check out uh, this YouTube because Father is standing in front of Father Don Calloway's with me. He's standing in front of this powerful, manly uh, painting of Saint Joseph, uh, and uh, that he had commissioned, and he has a lot of other paintings that he has available. We're going to try to talk him into letting him use some of us, some of them for our TV show, Long Ride Home. We're editing right now. We're getting into the editing portion of 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 us 
men riding the most treacherous 300 and, uh, three, most treacherous 11 miles in America, 318 S turns uh, in an 11 mile stretch. About 19 people a year push their limits too far on that and die. And it's called the Tale of the Dragon. And we're going to be talking about the terror of demons on that. That the reason I took my men down that road was so that we could talk about that. And so it's perfect. It's timely that that uh, we're talking with Father Don Calloway today uh, about the manliness of Saint Joseph, the virtue that he showed. What do you think about uh, how did he his relationship with Jesus? Yeah. What? How do you envision that? Well, you know, I, it's amazing because you know there's a passage in the New Testament where Jesus says, referring to his heavenly father, but it applies in, in this relationship too. He says, a son can only do and say what he sees his father doing. That's what Jesus says. So what does that mean about Jesus and Joseph? I've thought about this, I've prayed about this. Now, if you were to look at me and my mannerisms, you would see part of my father in me. So remember when Jesus says to his disciples, when they say, show us the father, and he says, what do you mean, show us the Father? It, when you see me, you're seeing the Father. Why can wow. he say that? Right? Why does he say that? Wow. Because he's not the Father. He's not the same person as the Father. Right. His Father's son. So his the, he acts like his Father. Well, what about Joseph? The mannerisms of Jesus when he walked on earth, the way he spoke. The, 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 the way he threw he, an axe. Exactly. The way he All worked. All that stuff yeah. was just like Joseph did. Jo so when you see Jesus... You see Joseph too on some level because yes. he's his son. This is this is the intimacy. This is the father son bond. There, it's profound, brother. And you know, here during this 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 Corona uh, uh, crisis, men, listen to this. Listen, Father, the last verse of the Old Testament. Yeah, there's different watered down translations of it, but the actual translation is. He will turn the hearts of the fathers to their sons mm -hmm. and the hearts of the sons to their fathers. Some of them say the parents to their children, children to the parents. No, the actual words are he'll turn the hearts of the fathers to their sons and their sons to their fathers. And my wife, Cindy, she, she points out every day here during the corona thing that's been going on. This is a recorded, so it'll be kind of probably in a different phase by the time this airs. We see something really profound, really yeah. profound. Uh, in Hawaii, it's very, very different. Uh, the whole Ohana family unit is very different. We see men with two or three or maybe four children trailing behind them, taking them down into the water, taking them out to surf. Sometimes the wife is there. Yeah. But it's the man with a daughter or a son or maybe two or three, and he yeah. because they have this time and they're available and there aren't so many, there's no tourists in the water, you see man and his children, man and his children, man and his children. It's like a parade of fathers with their children taking them out uh, and teaching them to surf. Yeah. Uh, you know, my, my sons, every one of them carries some part of me in them. I can see myself in them. Yeah. They're not me. Uh, some look like me, some don't, but, but they're in my image and my likeness to some degree. And so to learn, to, to see... Jesus and what he, I love what you said, how he submitted uh, to his parents after that moment when he was, they thought he was lost, right. and, he grew, and he increased in wisdom and stature. Yeah. What should we say to children that might be listening, to young men that might be listening? How can they work to develop a better relationship with their earthly father? Right, and that, I mean, that is something that we, we should be striving to do, and you know, it's something that is very pleasing to God when we do. And that doesn't mean, and this is important too, like Joseph is holy, right? But if you think about it, in the holy family, he's the least holy member, if you think about it that way. So, for example, <laughs> Jesus is God, yeah. right? I mean, that's, that's divine. Mary is not a sinner. She's not God, but she's the Immaculate Conception. We owe her hyperdulia. Not exactly. It, yeah. But the interesting thing here is that Joseph, though the least holy member of that family, he was the one that they looked to, that they actually delighted in his leadership and him being who he was for them. They they submitted, so to speak, to his fatherhood, to his role. Wow. And so that's important because a lot of times we can look to our own father and we, we can know his flaws. Now, I'm not saying St. Joseph had flaws. It's a little different here. He's completely holy, right? Very holy man. 
But Nick, well, you're going to see the flaws of your parents. It's going to happen, right? But they're your parents. This is your father. And you need to love and respect him. I mean, this is what we talk about in the commandments. Honor your father and your mother. Doesn't mean that they're not going to have flaws. You're going to see them. But you have to respect them. You have to honor them. Um, and there's another place in the scriptures in the wisdom literature. I don't have this passage in front of me, but you could look it up where basically it says, you know, those who, who honor their father atone for sins and honoring your father gives you a, a long life. It's something that God will bless you if you show respect for your father. I think I in the commandments, it's, it's, it's the only it's the first commandment with a promise. Honor your right. father, your mother, and all will be well with you. That's right. That's Doesn't right. Mean, so, what does the word mean to honor them, Father? Yeah, well, basically to respect, to, to you know, get, show them what, what is their due. You know, that's what we mean by the virtue of justice, to give others their due. So if you give your parents their due, it means that you acknowledge that they do, as long as you're under their roof, they have an authority over you. That's, you know, they're the ones who made that home for your safety, for your well-being. So respect that. Respect their rules. Respect their authority doesn't mean that they're always going to be right. Sometimes they may be wrong and you may know it, but if it's something that's, you know, within their domain to, to tell you, you have to respect. But you know, father, I'm always, I'm all, you know, I'm always telling men turn their hearts to their, their children. Yeah. But now I have this sense that, uh, it, this, there's another part to that verse and it says in the hearts of the sons will be turned to their father. So adult sons, adult, adult children, how do they honor their, their, their parents? Well, yeah, I mean, they still have to honor them. Obviously, when you're a grown adult, you don't have to obey your parents in the sense of you're out of the home, you're your own person, you're making your own life. But at the same time, these are your parents. You're, you're linked, you know, by that bond of blood. And as we often say, it's blood is thicker than water, right? I mean, that is something that you have to respect. And as they get older, you should desire not a, to abandon them. This is a big problem in the world today is when parents get older, people just, you know, send them off to some place to take care of them and they don't have anything to do with them. It, it tends to be very selfish. Don't get in the way of my career or what I'd like to do in life. They brought you into life, you know, help, help be there for them to the, the best that you can and don't uh, step out of the picture. They need you. You know, they at one point took care of you where when you couldn't take care of yourself. Well, now in their older years, maybe they need really do need your help. And you maybe you really, yeah. And you know, there's, there's the, there's the, the, I think Jesus rebuked, those who said, I forget where it was, where they said, well, this, this money is, is holy, uh, which right. means uh, it's for God. I can't help it. I can't use it to support my parents, you know. Right. But, but there's also that, my, when I was younger, my, we, my, we, we, my, as, as I was becoming an adult, I remember my father saying to me, there is this chain of command. And yeah. understanding how um, the centurion knew that he submitted, he submitted to the commander above him, and so his men submitted to him. And Jesus yep. said, "I haven't seen such great faith in all of Israel. A young person uh, in 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 the house under their parents' authority, as you submit to them, then uh, then uh, God sees that as an act of faith." I remember when I used to lead a youth group. I'd say, "Don't you dare come here if your parents don't want you here." Uh -huh. But I said, "Pray, and God will put pressure on them. Uh, God will get to them to get them to tell you to come here." Like when Moses didn't, Moses said, "Let my people go." God started putting pressure on that. Authority, but as I was getting out of college, my father said it's no longer a chain of command. Now it's a chain of responsiveness. Nice. I want you to be responsive to me and and, and seek my counsel. And yeah. there's so there's a, a readiness and availability, but it's not it's it's different. <clears throat> right. Yep. And I think you know we've lost this today, <clears throat> especially in Western culture. You know, in the past, certain people around the world. They had like some kind of ritual that a father would take his son through where he would come into his manhood and it was acknowledged. He was given a new name. You know, you are Eagle Rider or whatever it was. You know? um, well, we've lost this today where you don't really see that bond between a father and a son where he teaches his son how to hunt or how to fish or how to change a tire or, you know, those kind of things that are going to you be You know what the most popular, popular uh, blowing up viral video is right now is... Uh, Dad, teach me how to do this. I forget what it is. It's like, I forget the name. But I this guy it. gets on and says, here's how you tie a tie. Yeah, Here's I how you change it. a tie. We're talking with Father Don Calloway. We're getting kind of carried away, Father. But um, <laughs> it's not so much that the show's ending, but that I'm checking out the surf. <laughs> oh, my. I got to tell you, oh, Castles, Castles just broke. 
stop, man. Way outside. I mean, it really did. It just, it's just, I think the tide's dropping enough and the swell's coming up. So I got to go surfing. When are you going to come out to Hawaii? You, can, you and your mom, your family can use, use my condo anytime. We got a special studio here that we, you know, we make available and come on out anytime. Mahalo, mahalo. <laughs> so what's the name of the site again? So the website is consecration to St. Joseph.org. And you, on that website, you can get the book uh, and those, uh, those uh, artwork those, that those I Those paintings. I showed. Yeah, they're not yeah. expensive. You can get them for $20 or something. That's right. Exactly. And they're, all, they're, they're, they're the coolest paintings. We need more like that to show the manliness of St. Joseph. You guys, we got to go. Will you do this with me? We're going to say aloha. And may the breath of the Holy Spirit aloha you. Aloha. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Blessings. Hey, man, I don't want you to miss out on your free stuff at deepadventure.com. Go there and subscribe to our weekly email newsletter. You get free video content, including the Bear Wozniak radio show, video version on YouTube before it even airs on EWTN. And you can follow us on all of our social media. Go to deepadventure.com and subscribe. Get your free stuff. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to press the subscribe button and ring that little bell. Don't miss out.